welcome to Sunday, uh, day one of the mission proper. So while I'm here in Schiphol Airport uh, with Luke and James, the rest of the team have finally arrived in Accra. Uh, their plane was delayed, it was 11 o'clock, there was big queues, they had lateral flow, uh, they had a bit of a fight uh, getting through customs with all our huge boxes, but Baffour got them through it in the end. They arrived in the uh, in the hotel at 1 in the morning and went to bed at 1.30. Clever old Enoch uh, had a nice van ready for them and, uh, and he asked them to come at 5 in the morning. So at 4.50, with two hours sleep, he was rung and woken up to pack off Peter and Kim up to Kamasi to go and fill that van with all the kit we need to go to uh, and do surgery in Accra. Meanwhile, the rest of the team on Sunday today have been really busy in Accra, setting up everything, having a look at their wonderful hospital uh, and uh, setting it all up and also checking out the patients that we're going to be operating on. Uh, Helen's been doing echoes, there have been a few angios going on and, uh, and really it looks like a wonderful hospital and a great team there. So let's go and have a look and see what everyone else has been doing and, uh, and uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully it's going to be a great kickoff today to get ready for some operations tomorrow. So the team is finally here, we're at UGMC and the teams are mingling together. We have here Christina going through all the equipment. They have actually a really excellent range uh, of equipment. Uh, Christina met the scrub nurses and they had a really excellent level of knowledge uh, of the uh, kit required. They had all the retractors, they had the uh, the galley parts, mostly reusable stuff, but, but had an excellent level of knowledge uh, for cardiac surgery. They went through every single part of it, they looked carefully at the uh, stenotomy sores, they made sure they knew exactly how to set them up uh, and had a really good discussion and we're really confident that they're going to be an excellent team of scrub nurses. <laughs> Yes. Checked out the defibrillator. we are the theater currently. We've gone to the ICU, we've gone to the step down ward, and then everything is so far so good here. Thank you. And and the suction and the skin Come back after. So, so we are having two sets. So we go and not I'll try not to be extreme. Long be extreme. So by 11.30 we had the whole operating room fully sorted, bypass machine, heater coolers, 
uh, everything sorted. And right next to the operating room, look at this fantastically kitted out uh, equipment stack, lap packs, hand towels, and if Enoch's naughty, we've even got this. But uh, we're really impressed uh, with everything that uh, UGMC have. Uh, in fact, we're not going to have to use all that much stuff that we brought, which is brilliant. Uh, and we're really confident they're going to be really great. Hey, you know, like, uh, looks like a good basically everything. Just what you can have, uh, maybe it's just some guns if they're in the guns. So we then went off to go and have a look at the intensive care and it is an absolutely fantastic brand new unit. Um, individual bays, uh, really good quality beds, uh, top quality uh, monitors and uh, we're really confident that this is going to be a great place to look after our patients uh, after the surgery. So we move to Helen, who uh, did a whole load of echocardiograms and TO. We're really pleased that our charity has been able to actually purchase this CX50 echo machine, transthoracic and transesophageal echo. And uh, Helen worked really hard all day to do TOEs on all the potential patients. Uh, so uh, we're really grateful to her and she did a fantastic job. Uh, and that really set the basis for us being able to create a full operating list for the whole rest of the week. So meanwhile, we sent uh, Kim and Peter all the way up to to Kamasi to go and raid the cupboard. Uh, Isaac was there opening the doors to our fantastic cupboard which had all our bypass circuits. Um, uh, poor Kim and Peter got up at 4.50 a.m. to get in there. Welcome back to the cupboard. Uh, and they got all our bypass circuits, sent it back and they were back by 2.30 p.m. Well done them. Uh, great work. So we've done the theatres and now we're doing the angiograms with our fantastic part-time uh, videographer, uh, a local guy who does quite like his transitions. And uh, this is the angiogram team. So while Helen was doing the uh, echoes, uh, Justin stayed here doing uh, angiograms for our patients with a really top quality team. They were fully kitted out, they were ready, they had loads of stuff on the shelves and they knew what they were doing. So we're really pleased. So we've had a very productive day. We've set up theatres, done echoes, done angiograms. Great job team. So I've made it finally to meet Enoch. That's great, we're here together and Enoch has had an amazing day. How's it been? It's been brilliant. Um, it's been fantastic meeting up with everyone again. It's been fantastic seeing the patients. We've got a full week's work already uh, organized. Um, and yeah, we're really excited to get going. Yeah. Brilliant, so tune in tomorrow. We'll get some heart surgery done. We've got a full theater list for the whole week, which is amazing. So a much, much better today all round. Definitely. It's been a great day. Well done. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Aqaba. <laughs> <laughs> <Welcome. laughs> <Welcome. laughs>